When Francis learns of the attack on his girlfriend, he seemingly breaks the family's evil pattern and calls police with a shocking confession. I need to tell everyone about my father, man. What, what he did to those girls. Okay. What do you think he did? I know what he did, man. He had to eat it. He did that for the girls. Then raped the men and killed them. So and the police have it. They have it right on tape. His own son accusing him of murder. Two weeks later, investigators finally get a warrant to search Ward's property. And they quickly make a grisly discovery. I really need you to come talk to Mallory. She needs your help, and you're the only one that can help her. I really he asked, would she come over? and try to make her feel better. And Ashley sadly agreed. All right. I appreciate that. All right, jump on in. Thanks. Police believe he murdered Ashley in the home, but the medical examiner isn't able to determine an exact cause of death. Miranda's murder remains a complete mystery until 2009, when Ward III finally breaks his silence. And I'm so glad you're here. You're not going to believe this, but Ashley's okay and she's inside. So naturally, Miranda had no way of knowing that she too was about to be murdered. She's okay. Trust me. She's good. Today, Ward Weaver III sits in a prison cell much like his father, Ward Jr., did when they reconnected all those years ago. Hello, Ward. Hello, Ward. <laughs> is it nature? Is it nurture? Is it a combination of both? Because here we have a father who's a killer. And then you have a son who seems to have inherited the very same traits, who grew up in a horrible background. So you wonder, is it one, the other, is it both? Or is it just some combination of traits and genes that then produces a killer? The debate rages on. In February 2014, Ward III's son, Francis, is charged with the murder of an Oregon man. 